Yeah, from a free dubbing. My name is Frida Obeng. I come from Ashanti Achim Fidi. I am 38 years of age. My parents showed me love growing up. They took me to school right from kindergarten. I became blind along the way. I complained of little headache and I was admitted at Agogo Hospital. There I lost my sight. It was suggested I attend school for the blind Akropon. When I got there, help wasn't forthcoming, so I stopped. My parents tried their possible best to take care of me, but unfortunately, I lost my dad. My name is Messi Obeyin. I come from Ashanti Ashim Tridium in the Ashanti region. Frida Obeyin is my daughter. My daughter lost her sight at the age of eight. She fell ill, so we took her to the Agogo Hospital. We spent three months and three weeks there. When we were discharged, she couldn't see, she couldn't walk, she couldn't talk. My husband and I tried our best to get her back in shape. We were hoping she could see, but that never materialized. We took her to school of the blind. My husband and I couldn't handle the demands, so she had to stop. It didn't take long, I lost my husband. I have one daughter, she's gone to school. That is why my home is quiet for now. I am not the sad type. My name is Bernard Owusu Efriye. Frida is my sibling. Her dad is my uncle. I don't we grew up in the same environment and schooled together. My sister fell ill, so she was taken to the hospital. We were all waiting for her to join us back in school, but unfortunately, she spent too long. We were surprised with how long she spent in the hospital because the sickness she complained of wasn't serious. At the point, we thought maybe our sister is about to travel and they are trying to do some cholera by giving us all the stories. But when she was finally brought home, we got to know that everything they were telling us is true. We all oh, felt so bad. She was the one uplifting our spirits. A young man came and impregnated him. She never saw him again for a very long time. My daughter gave birth to a baby girl. She is now nine years of age. Rumors were that the man who impregnated my daughter was back in town. So I spoke with him and asked why he did what he did. And he explained to me that he had to go out there and hustle. So he's somewhere in La Côte d'Ivoire. So I said, okay. Then he vanished again. 
I'm taking care of Frida and her daughter, my granddaughter. I don't have a husband, so I'm doing everything myself. When I got pregnant, he didn't help me at all. Only a few times, he came around, but it's been long I had heard from him. With regards to my feeding, my mom is the one shovering all the responsibilities. I don't have money. She gives me money anytime she's going out. I'm a very hard working woman. I used to street hawk inside Agogo. I worked for over 15 years until I had a waste problem. Doctors advised me to stop street hawking. So I used my savings to build two shops. Give one to my younger sister. She learns hairdressing, so she's using one. And I gave the order to Frida. She was given a freezer by the district assembly. What she needs now is capital to stock the container, so she needs the help of the public. My dreams and aspirations was to become a newscaster so that I can help build a better future for my children. But it didn't happen that way. My daughter's aspiration was to become a newscaster. Because of the unfortunate situation, she decided to do business so that she can take care of her daughter. I'm about to start a business. What I have is a fridge. What I need now is capital from the public to stop it. This wasn't what my sister had planned for the future. But because of the unfortunate situation, she has to accept this. We decided to say, "Oh, we need to get a car." Ah, on to meet now for a quince. So the first, na na min fa sa ma ne papa tia si na nsa onya ni pepe peno. You see ni pepe ni ho a car oni o ma me ma me so odi ni ho sa. Inti oso onu suke kane ho. Ye ya ya kuyi ni anu no ye nsiye wa sudi ye ye ni ye manu ni adinti ni tembi ana ye biti ni ako. She wants to be an independent person, not to be relying on family members. Her mom has tried her best to build two shops. The one on my immediate right belongs to her sister, and this for her. What she really wants to do is to run a coastal. Business people are a bit timid, you need to be a baby supporting them. They say, Oh, I did a whole year of community. She's not going to do this alone. We are going to help her run this business. Because it's a money say, so of course, our situation. We don't want her to end up on the streets begging for money and risk her life. Of course, yes, I did. I quite the risk factor and say any future say, Oh, crano, and for so we buy also. And frankly speaking, I did buy a quite sale. Yeah, I'm forced to say you know. And finally, home court to such situation in Benin say, "In the panel, I could not go on home court to stress that they know." Most times, a blind person may need someone to hold them to go to the street to beg for arms. For instance, in Nigeria, 
There are times we see a lot of kids say, in that situation. Imagine my sister's kid following her to the streets to beg for arms. We are going to destroy the little girl's future as well. It's something we are trying our best to avoid. That is why she wants to run this business. So she will be independent and take care of herself and her daughter. The shop is at a good spot. Very close to the roadside. Very visible to people to come and patronize her products. My mom built me the shop. But the freezer was given to me by the district assembly. What is left now is the capital to start the business. I am not the outgoing type, but on Sundays, I do go to church with my mom and daughter. I know my way around the house very well. I don't find problems at all moving around. Even though her mom is always around here, the situation is way different to having sight and moving about freely. The good thing here is that she had a little bit of education. She's able to apply that knowledge in the daily routines. She was a very intelligent student way back in school. Always first in class. If you are not around here at home, she's able to move freely a bit. If I'm to go somewhere, I need to make sure there is someone around, either the younger sister or the daughter. I hardly go out myself unless I have to attend a funeral or something. They are always around here to make her feel comfortable. If we can get one or two more, please, I will appreciate that one too. But what we need more now is starting capital. Believe in my sister that when help comes her way to stop this container, things are going to move on well for her. I am an acronym, I am an admin, so I am a crab. 
My daughter always asks of her father. She believes that one day he is going to show up. Quickly, wherever you are, your daughter misses you so much. She wants you back home. She needs your support in school. Wherever you are, let us hear from you. Kweku Atta, Mama Sewa is talking to you right now. Wherever you are, please, your daughter is always asking of you where you are. Kweku Atta, baby, I will be here. Mama Sewa is not asking of you. I will not be here. It's my prayer to God that He helps restore my daughter's sight. She is a very powerful young woman. There was a time I was always heartbroken, but she encourages me. She tells me, Mom, I believe I'm going to see again. Did you say, Miss Sam, my dear, dear?